the automotive world is witnessing a significant transformation as a renowned brand embraces electrification. To achieve this, they have unveiled an all-new hybrid supercar. Another brand has recently launched a stunning track-focused road car. In this video, we will delve into two brand new Italian supercars revealed this week. But before we begin, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications for new video uploads. Firstly, let's explore the Maserati MC20. Their latest supercar is available in both coupe and roadster versions. Recently, they introduced the GT2 Straight Ale, a track-focused road car. Maserati has equipped this car with a more aggressive front bumper, featuring additional vents to enhance front-end downforce. The bonnet boasts extra vents to channel air out from the front intake, reducing pressure. The front wheel arches have also been vented to release high-pressure air, minimizing lift. The side skirts are more aggressive, smoothing airflow. At the rear, the diffuser's size and effectiveness have been increased, accompanied by a slightly extended ducktail spoiler. A fixed rear wing completes the aerodynamic package. The interior is designed to evoke a racing feel, featuring a stripped-out design, extensive carbon fiber, carbon bucket seats, a racing harness, and a carbon steering wheel with shifting lights. The powertrain remains the same as the MC20 utilizing a 3-liter twin-turbo V6 engine producing 640 horsepower, a 10-horsepower increase. This power is transmitted to the rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic transmission. Maserati has extensively employed carbon fiber to reduce the GT2 Straight Ale's weight by 60 kilograms. In contrast, the all-new Lamborghini Temerario has gained weight. Replacing the Huracan supercar, it marks the third hybrid car in Lamborghini's lineup completing their hybrid range. The Temerario significantly differs from its predecessor. Notably, Lamborghini has replaced the legendary 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine with a more conventional 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine. This engine revs up to 10,000 RPM and generates 800 horsepower, supplemented by an electric motor. Power is transmitted to the rear wheels via an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission with a small battery pack between the driver and passenger and two electric motors for the front wheels. The Temerario competes with the McLaren Artura and Ferrari 296, boasting a larger engine and significantly more power. Its powertrain produces a total of 920 horsepower, surpassing the McLaren by 220 horsepower and the Ferrari by around 100 horsepower. Additionally, the Lamborghini features all-wheel drive, unlike its competitors. The Temerario's design adheres to Lamborghini's signature style, characterized by sharp lines, a sharp nose, and functional vents. It features thin headlamps, giving it an aggressive appearance. The side design draws inspiration from the Gallardo, with similar vents behind the doors and quarter panels. The partially exposed engine cover is reminiscent of the Revuelto. The rear features hexagonal tail lamps and a central-mounted exhaust, accompanied by a large diffuser to generate necessary downforce. Unlike the Revuelto, this car lacks an active rear wing. The interior closely resembles the Revuelto's, featuring a similar steering wheel, digital driver's display, new infotainment screen, and passenger display. Lamborghini claims the Temerario can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.7 seconds, reaching a top speed of 343 km per hour. This is an exceptionally quick car, with deliveries set to commence soon. We will discuss the new Maybach in our next video. Thank you for watching, and please like this video and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And click the bell icon for more content. Take care.